Hey guys, I haven't really been doing robot ratings recently, so we're going to start catching up now and hopefully we'll be caught up by the end of August. Three hour conveyor speed build. Okay, um, all the structure is one by beams. I feel like there's better ways to mount this. Um, I know this was uh, more than a month ago, uh, but now it's pretty common knowledge that uh, the steeper the angle of the conveyor, the better it is, but you don't want it to be directly vertical. Still, this is pretty good, and I do see a fair amount of triangle bracing, so that does mean that this uh, is very stable. But I don't think that uh, this has any gear ratio. You can see it's just a direct gear, um, so this conveyor might be a bit slow, but it is on the biggest sprocket, I think. Yeah, the second biggest sprocket, so it should be fine. Pushback. Oh, I think this is a loading station made of IQ ro uh, robot parts. I mean, it looks pretty accurate, to be honest. Low-key. We just need to add the stop in the front. Ander, let's see. Oh, 180 lift mech. Oh, that's really crit. Um, This might be four motor. Oh, that's two motor. No, that's four motor. Yeah, there's really motor on the other side. Um, I think this is his PTO 180 bot. Um, it's pretty good, but I'm pretty sure he's redesigning. And uh, if you guys want this kind of speed we will be releasing a robot that only uses foreign borders in total um once we get to 2500 members on a discord right now we have 2370 so we're not that far off and if you want to join just go in the description and you can either use those two motors to power uh your pto or you can use it on whatever you want so this looks like a normal conveyor oh that's four motors yeah really fast i think it's also tuned really well um the pain cutters go in there with all the plastic sheets but it does look kind of scuffed like the pin rotates so much when it's dropping in over here yeah you can see how it just like ops are on but i mean if it works it works so this game is starting to get really pneumatic based unfinished conveyor cad too lazy to finish oh yeah again this angle is way too um how do i say it acute yeah, um, you want your conveyor to be a lot more steep so that it can stack really well. And I don't even know if this can do the three colored stacks just because of how low it is. Looks like a high stake spot, to be honest. Um, how's this drivetrain? Um, I don't see a lot of issues with this drivetrain, but I don't recommend bracing it like this. Um, there's a lot of better ways to brace it. You can use the, um, Double sided connectors on the outside instead of having these standoffs. I think these triangles are pretty good, good for bracing, but um, you probably shouldn't be using plastic axles on your gears, um, especially if they're canted. Um, I think plastic axles are actually okay if they're uh, they span the full width, but I really don't like them when they're canted because they're kind of just forced to bend if something happens which might um, like screw up your entire drivetrain during a match. Overall, it's okay. Um, Chaz, this is 100% too short. Um, you would want to use an extended beam on top of it just to make this longer. And the ratio, what is the ratio? Uh, 2 to 5 and then 4 times ratio, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a pretty good speed. But you can, you can see it literally doesn't go anywhere, so... If you extend this um, and make it higher, it would be a lot better. I know, um, I don't think he's using this bot at all. Long though, copy in progress. This can be fast. All right, so four motor conveyor again, very powerful. Um, yeah, you can see here, this is an extended beam. So it's not just a two by 20. They have middle rollers for compression. So if your chain is too tight or too loose, you can add a sprocket in the center. They also have these band rollers in the bottom which a lot of teams struggle with the pickup of the pins using a conveyor uh these band rollers can help with it a lot because they just kind of push it up and let the conveyor do the rest and on the top here this is really useful but i don't see a lot of teams using it basically it's kind of like a passive hood some teams have it so that this angled section can just move up and down but since you're using plastic sheets it shouldn't matter that much so when the pin goes up the plastic sheet kind of pushes it down so that it lands perfectly in the same spot. And these plastic sheets on the bottom also help with the smooth motion. So I think this robot is really well made. Very good. 
our conveyor right now. Um, I do see a bit of structurability issues. For example, um, your drivetrain motors, they are bending inwards, which means that your drivetrain is flexing. So you want to add some more cross spaces, especially in the center, on the top and the bottom to help that bending. And also over here, um, you probably shouldn't use one by beams for the sandwiching and especially not the clear ones because if these are from the rapid relay field, which I'm pretty sure they are, because of how they're made, they bend really easily. They also snap really easily. If you've done rapid relay, you probably encountered this issue with your fields with the pieces snapping in, in half and that's a sign not to use them for your robot. But I think the conveyor by itself, it's pretty solid. But again, I don't recommend a four motor drivetrain. Like I said in our last video, I feel like this game is a lot more slow paced. So a two motor, two to one or three to two drivetrain is the kind of the perfect speed. And if you want your drivetrain to be faster, you also want all of your intaking to be faster. But a two motor intake can't really keep up with a four motor drivetrain. But a four motor intake can easily keep up with a two motor drivetrain. That's about it. Um... This was one month ago. I don't know if they changed it or not. But yeah, that's my feedback. Clawbot at Worlds. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how Clawbot made it to Worlds, but that's crazy. What is this? Pneumatic? A pneumatic motor? That's that's cool. But, um, oh yeah. Very viable for matches, totally. Um, looks like another conveyor, but... This one's using the smallest sprocket. That's pretty interesting. I don't know how well this works, but I don't know. You guys can ask this person in the thread. This does not make any sense. All right, let's look at it. Two wheels, two stripped wheels. I think they're going to use this for a beam clamp, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, but I don't think it's going to have any functionality at all because you won't be able to score any pins on that. That's pretty cool. I think it's just the perfect size. Work in progress 180 mech. This looks pretty cool. Oh, it's motor powered too, so no pneumatics. Um, I was originally worried that this motor wouldn't hit the beam claw and not be able to do anything, but turns out this motor seems to be the perfect um, size to fit in between these two beams. So if you don't have pneumatics and you want to build a competitive bot, this Design looks pretty enticing. Can I please have some feedback? Conveyor CAD looks like a Parker Hole count. Um, yeah, again, these wheels at the bottom, they do help a lot. Or the rubber band wheels, they both work. Triangle bracing, that's a must. Um, so if you're building conveyor, you have to have something in the back to support it. Otherwise, your weight from the motors, and even if you have your motors at the front, the weight of your axles will just bring the whole thing down and add a lot of friction to your chain. But um, because you have the flaps on your chain, um, I don't know if this connector can still be here. Um, it's probably going to hit it. Overall, this robot has a lot of potential. Oh, again, four motor drivetrain, really not needed. You could use that easily to power your conveyor better. Or you could use it as a lift for your pins to put it onto the standoff goal. Looks like another conveyor. Um, oh, this looks really similar to Chaz, but please... Um, extend your conveyor because this is not going to be high enough. It's a really simple change and it seems like it just goes in. Actually, this height seems okay, but making it higher will just guarantee everything works better. Magic Kid Robotics Lab. Carl, what are you doing, bro? Bot design. Um, yeah, that's 180 mech. Um, I don't know if that clamp is going to work really well. Oh, yeah. I mean, if the clamp is not for lifting, it should work. 180 looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Really smooth scoring. This bot has a lot of potential. And yeah, if you want a base model like this, you can click right over here uh, for our Pintex model, which not only does this double uh, stack scoring onto the beams, it also lifts it up so you can put it on the standoff goal, which is really good. Anyways, that's going to be all. I'll try to catch up as much as I can before school starts. So, yeah.
best.